Good morning, Bitcoin. Today is Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. And we are preparing for the live launch of the Topps Baseball Card Shop on Wax. Wax is a platform that ICO'd a few years ago. It has an exchange at atomichub.io. And today, for the first time officially, you can purchase Topps official Major League Baseball card, digital collectibles, NFTs, they're calling them now, but as you can see, Topps is using the original phrasing digital collectibles that we used back when we launched Curio Cards in 2017. So this is pretty exciting stuff. We're getting a Twitter space going. See if I can get some people to join me on Twitter. Give us a thumbs up right now on YouTube. And uh, come on over to Twitter, at MadBitcoins, if you'd like to join the conversation and talk about the exciting launch of baseball cards on the blockchain. They said it couldn't happen. They said it would never happen. It's happening now. It's happening. I'll try to get the chat going, too. Say hello in the chat. Oh, terrible. Eckersley. Looking for the right GIF uh, to launch a tweet about this to try to get more people into the uh, old chat. Oh, yeah, that one's going to work. Anyway, we're sitting here getting ready for the Topps Major League Baseball card launch on the WAX blockchain. WAX is a copy of EOS. And it ICO'd a few years ago. Topps is a major baseball card company. I've been collecting co Topps baseball cards since 1985, 1986-ish. So this is a pretty cool uh, day, a pretty cool announcement. And uh, we're celebrating it here with a live stream. I'm waking my way over to the YouTube chat. Say hello in with the YouTube a live chat. stream. Hey, I can hear myself. Let's see. Uh, someone says they're watching as well, and theirs just says loading. It doesn't have the countdown timer. You're missing out. Um, Camry McCurdy says he's a player. Go Mariners. <laughs> that sounds cool. Let's, let's look him up. Uh, but again, welcome to players even uh, who are interested in NFTs, digital collectibles. That's what we used to call them back in the day. And that's what they're calling them now. Let's check it out. He's got Instagram photos. Maybe that's him. But yes, I'm a... The Mariners are actually in the league. They're in the same league as the Oakland Athletics. So uh, we are major competitors against the Mariners. Of course, the Mariners originally the Seattle Pilots going back to the... 60s maybe 70s something like that but the seattle pilots of mariners of seattle land so ideally i'm going to have enough money to buy one of each of these packs ideally i'm going to get them and there's not a, a thousand million other people out there getting ready to do this uh, my brother is supposed to be sending me more wax to my wax account i thought i had about a hundred wax but a wax does not equal a dollar. So I don't really know how much money I have. I know I have at least $5. Uh, so that's in the bag. We're going to be trying to buy a $5 pack here. And uh, if I do get the money in time, wax is a pretty quick blockchain. It's not full of crypto kitties and other stuff clogging it up. Uh, so I should be able to get the 100 bucks by then. Uh, if there's any interest, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of my NFT collection here on wax. I'm just kind of getting started. I uh, don't really know how to... Uh, work the system and that kind of thing, but it's a fun thing to see happening after all these years. I have this one. It's a pig. <laughs> it's from the Dead Mouse collection, I guess. Um, that's pretty cool. Dead Mouse the pig. This one is Goat, greatest of all time. Can't beat that. We're joined in the uh, Twitter space. Our first uh, welcome to Bitcoin is. We'll invite them up to speak and they'll disappear instantly. So Twitter space is not taking off so far. If you'd like to join us in the Twitter space, you can join us on Twitter at MadBitcoins. 
kind of lost my voice recently. Usually I have more voice. But that's fun too. I've got Ravenous Ryan. Looks like a strange zombie card. Wish I could just page right through my cards here. That would be nice right and left buttons. Um, it kind of makes it hard to see them. Let's see, maybe we can just go bigger. Is anyone having issues with the site? So far, I logged in as normal using the Wax uh, wallet, and I'm sitting logged in on the Tops website uh, with hopes uh, that this is going to work. I know I have at least $5 in Wax. I might head that way first, uh, but I also hope to have at least $100 in Wax by the time this thing starts. And uh, again, no, not investment advice. I don't know if this is going to work out or not, but I just had the idea where I was like, I like baseball cards. I've always had baseball cards. I have a bunch in the in the back in the libraries on the shelf. Why don't I get some of the digital ones? And as it turns out, I'm I'm here on time. We are 14 minutes from the tops launch. Uh, keep an eye on that clock. I've got some strange Van City outbreak uh, zombie looking NFTs. A friend of mine sent me a bunch of random NFTs, so I was just like, okay. And along the way, he sent me a garbage pail kit, and I was just blown away that they had garbage pail kids on wax. I was like, that is so cool. So I got some more Jolt and Joe, Brad, Bad Brad, Savage Staff. And it's it's when I got to the Savage Staff and Jazzy Joe that I suddenly realized these are modern uh, garbage pail kids. You know, that's the Tiger King. They couldn't have done that in the 1980s. And I was just blown away that Topps was making brand new images of garbage pail kids how cool is that uh so i don't know, i only have a couple bucks but i bought a couple bucks of uh, garbage pail kids images i think it's fun and um i got this cool marisol vingus i think marisol vingus lost in the woods no it's somebody else lost in the woods silly cybernix pretty cool they say the site is broken so it seems unlikely that we're going to be getting cards today and i've got some mad boy bitcoin's original cards Oh, there we go. I got this Jolly Roger. This is a great garbage pail kid. Look at that. He's a pirate. Yar, me hearties. Uh, they're saying the top site is broken. I had this one just open. I'm going to open another window to the top site and just see what happens uh, if it loads. So it is not showing the packs anymore. When you load it, it says, did you miss out? After you purchase your tops packs, it's linking to the other sites. Uh, so I don't know that these links I have are going to do me any good. Uh, and if this is just going to be the world's most uninteresting show, but um, let's give it a shot. Uh, here it says login to continue. Uh, broken for Chris in the chat. Uh, definitely looks like the original link was broken. Um, this link here doesn't have anything on it yet. Uh, it's possible that these are uh, useful links still. We're 11 minutes away from the launch. We don't know what's going to happen. Uh, pretty much if I'm successful and I get baseball cards, I will open them live on the air. If I'm unsuccessful and I don't get baseball cards, I will curse the gods and shake my fist at the sky and probably move on and do something else with my day. So let's hang out for 15 minutes, see if we can get some baseball cards. Give us a thumbs up out there. Subscribe to the World Crypto Network if you haven't already. We do these kind of shows every day, um, most of the time talking about Bitcoin since 2014. So started nfts in 2017 with my curio cards also wanted to announce while i've got you guys here i'm starting a new little nft venture with some friends of mine it's called nft-ventures.com or blogspot.com if you want to check out the blogger that i'm working on and uh, we've got a mailing list if you want to sign up to learn about nfts it says get the sickest drops that's the kind of thing that i think is funny I'm going to go ahead and tweet that out on the Mad Bitcoins account right now. If you want to check out the mailing list and learn about NFT information and NFT drops, uh, please sign up at the Mad Bitcoins Twitter to NFT Ventures. Our previous project, uh, we were involved in Curio Cards, which is now listed on OpenSea, created in 2017, May 9th, 2017. There's been 284 Curio Cards traded with an average price of 0.21. Ethereum. It's not showing here, but the market value is well over 200 Ethereum has been traded in volume. 284 Ethereum traded. That's half a million dollars in Curio cards. So 
If that's the kind of thing that interests you, check out the Mad Bitcoins Twitter account and you can sign up uh, to learn more about NFT ventures and our drops in the future. A uh, question in the chat. Do you have to buy wax to get cards? Yes. Uh, Tops does not seem to have any kind of a credit card interface. Uh, when you click the buttons, it asks you to log in with the wax wallet. The wax wallet is what I use to log into atomic assets, uh, which is where I keep my garbage pail kids cards. So I have a little bit of wax in advance. Uh, no, no plans to do this. Didn't know they'd be a hundred bucks. Not really sure about spending a hundred bucks on a, digital baseball cards but if i have the wax i'll spend it it's another one of my favorite garbage pail kids this is dead fred how cool is that he's got a tommy gun uh but yeah you can they claim you can buy wax with a credit card you can buy it on the bittrex exchange there's my marisol vengus that's a valuable nft how to buy the packs right now um you go to topsmlb.com forward slash shop and it seems like it's broken Previously, this web page did load to links to buy packs. I still have one of these open. I don't know that if it's going to work, but they have eight minutes left. Uh, their web page is broken and not loading. Previously, this loaded to a shopping cart. Uh, the shopping cart wouldn't let me buy anything. And it says select payment method, but doesn't say anything. So we might be heading to a complete train wreck here. Uh, again, I'm not affiliated with Tops. I have not been paid to do this. I'm curious and interested in baseball cards. I've been interested in digital collectibles since 2017 when my friends and I made a fun project called Curio Cards that's slowly being redeveloped and rediscovered by the internet. Oh, uh, Dan is in the chat. Uh, let's see if Dan's like to join us and talk about my gravelly voice. Uh, the, and my lack of a stand to put my phone on. <laughs> I brought all the good things with me. According to official tops time, which is not loading for other people, in 7 minutes and 51 seconds, we will be attempting to purchase baseball cards on the Wax blockchain with Tops, Major League Baseball Card Company. Chris in the chat thinks that you can use credit cards, but he's not sure. He says that Tops has not done a good job with this. Uh, unfortunately, I have to agree. They seem to be having a website problem if you try to load topsmlb.com forward slash shop it doesn't show uh the page that i have here that i'm being very you know careful with and i don't want to reload uh because this actually has links to where i think i'm going to be able to buy the packs in seven minutes uh let's see i was supposed to get some additional wax i have let's see if 10 wax is two dollars and i have 100 wax um Anyway, I have 100 wax. I'll throw that at some baseball cards. I don't think it's going to be $100. So we're probably going to buy this cheap one first. If we can buy anything at all. Uh, so say hello in the YouTube chat. Give us a thumbs up. Say where you're from, what you started collecting. I've been collecting a long time. Baseball cards. Gum wrappers, I guess. <laughs> for a while. And that would have been interesting now. Carefree and many other gums from the 1980s do not exist. Uh, had rocks. Rocks are a collection, right? Comic books. All kinds of things I've collected. And I didn't have a plan to buy these. I don't know that I have $100 in wax. If you want to send me $100 in wax, CEKB4.wham is like my address, I guess. So if you sent me $100, bucks, i would spend it on baseball cards or use it to make nfts in the future hey dan from uh grand rapids you're in the chat how's it going dan good how are you thomas doing great man i lost my voice a little bit uh not yeah, so good where, where'd you put it last <laughs> oh i don't know sometimes I, I eat the wrong food and it goes the wrong direction and it might also also have been um, part two of the vaccination so uh, you uh. Know, yeah it's just kind of a, a short cough and a bit of a you know evening vomiting sickness thing i lost my streak as seinfeld would say and um but you know we fight through these things i've got a little bit of voice i didn't want to torture everyone with a long show but yep. i thought it'd be super fun uh, to try to buy these baseball cards um oh interesting we've got more information from the chat it will be super fun 
They're saying if you log in to the TOPS website, it's likely that you'll see these countdown timers. Other people are not logged in. So go ahead and log in with the Wax wallet. Uh, it's connected to atomicassets.io. And uh, maybe that will show you the countdowns. Good tip by Ryan in the chat. Thank you, Ryan. Um, what were you saying, Dan? Sorry, I interrupted. Oh, yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm due for my second one as well. I got to. I got to call back and get it all arranged and stuff. But I find the NFTs fascinating to tell you the truth because it's just, it's, it's one of these really weird things that I completely do not understand their value. Like I get Bitcoin. I understand that. I even have land in the central land and I kind of get that. But um, like having a, a, a dunk of your favorite basketball player I would get it if it were five or ten dollars, right? If it were like a pack of playing cards, but to pay thousands of dollars for these things when they don't give you any legal rights or anything, it just it, it's confusing to me. That all being said, um, I'm a big uh, Godzilla fan, and when the Godzilla versus Kong things came out, I felt my heart jump going. I got to get one of those NFTs. And I went out and obviously they were thousands of dollars and I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. But I did feel that surge of emotion of, I really want that, which is just very strange. Well, and that's, that's how I feel about these baseball cards. I'm, and it doesn't even look like I'm going to get them. I'm pretty sure we're heading towards a failure here. I don't have any inside track on these. I'm going to click them when the timer goes to zero and see what happens. Um, but it just seemed at first I was like, of course, begrudging, shaking my fist. How dare they make things on a blockchain? How dare they copy my NFTs and all this? And, you know, it's like, I just wanted my Bitcoin. But then I, I saw the announcement this morning and it lined up where I had a little bit of wax and I, I hope that it's going to work and I get to buy a pack. And um, I think, again, we're, we're just buying at this point for this one, we're, we're buying nostalgia. This is, I want to be a kid again, opening baseball yeah. cards. It's super fun. Well, I mean, I got my friends in the chat. If I get a, you know, a, if I get an Oakland A, everyone in the chat's going to be like, yay, we did it. We, mission accomplished. I got a, one of the players from the team I like. Uh, if I get an old player or something fun, like it's, it's that random aspect. And something similar happened recently where I forget their name, but they're on my Twitter, APY or something. And what they do is they go around buying NFTs and putting them in digitally designed Fabergé eggs. And on one hand, it's like a top level thing. And you're like, oh, I'm going to open the egg and get a valuable NFT. But in another end, it's kind of like that old vending machine at the store that you put a quarter into and you get one of those things in the plastic ball. And you know, you want it to be the really nice toy, uh, but it's always a plastic ring or something that you don't want. And um, But people still love that moment of turning the wheel. It's much like a slot machine. Uh, so I think the way to see this is first for these, of course, they're using um, pack technology here and they're psyching us up just to read the the options of what we'll be trying to buy. Uh, then standard pack for $5 contains 78% common, 16% uncommon, 4% rare, 0.83% super rare, and 0.22 epic collections. So already you can see a lot of psychology going on here. And even as a kid, I don't think we knew that baseball card packs had rare or that certain cards were more rare and such. I, I was always just trying to get like, you know, my team, like A's and Giants and, um, you know, the teams that were winning or the players that I liked or Jose Canseco, Mark McGuire or um, Vaughn Hayes from the Phillies. Uh, you know, the, we're a minute away. So this is pretty much it. One minute away. Give us a thumbs up. Say hello in the chat. Um I don't know what's going to happen. When we hit the minute. I seem to have access to links that lead to a shopping cart. Previously, the shopping cart wouldn't let me buy anything. Um, I do not think that I've received more wax. Uh, so I estimate that I have very little wax. I don't know how to see that. Let's see. Oh, wait, I've received more wax. I have 600 wax. Okay, so we're going to click the big link in 30 seconds. And we're going to see what happens if I can buy $100 in baseball cards. If I'm successful, I will attempt to buy $5 in baseball cards next. I'll attempt to open both packs live here on the air. I hope that it doesn't expose my account information and allow you to steal my baseball cards. That would be under unfortunate. Um, but uh, here we go. Dan, are you ready? You excited? 15, 
I'm ready. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, five 4, four three, three, 2, two one. 1. Buy a premium pack. I'm clicking the link to buy a premium pack. This is just like buying Bernie Mac tickets. The link is loading. It says login to continue. Selecting a login option. I'm selecting the wax wallet. Loading, loading, loading. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Logging in. Select an option. Nothing's Good. happening. It's exposing all my account information. No, please don't expose my account information. It says, know your account name. I don't know my name. It's scrolling. It's loading. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, I'll click this box, but it's not helping. Uh, we're watching the wax wallet load. Uh, I don't know that. You should set up a node next, dude. <laughs> I have a node. Um, but yeah, no, this is it. We are. Uh, I think we're hitting the wall of not being able to buy baseball cards here. Shop.wdny.io did not buy enough servers and did not expect people to actually want to buy these things. Even I kind of shook my head and I was like, Tops, that old school company, haven't heard from them forever. You think they'll be able to pull this thing off? You think they kind of have the kind of tech, tech chops to make this happen? No. No, they don't. Uh, anybody in the chat, is anybody getting cards? My theory is not to touch this right now. I figure I'm trying to log in. I was on a good link to buy $100 worth. This company is losing my money. Uh, Kumar in the chat says, I can't buy. Thank you for sharing your experience, Kumar. I can also not buy. Uh, we have hit the wall. Anyone in the, um, Peter says he can't buy. We've got ready money, ready to go to the Tops company. It's, it's wax. It's not real Bitcoin. It's not real money. But still, Chris Perkins says it's not going to work. We've hit the wall. The Tops company has totally failed. We are one minute into the sale. Red says he's not able to see the packs. Francisco says impossible to buy. Danny C can't load the page. They're having the same problem. I can't believe it. I did not expect this to be a live stream of a mistake or an error, um, unforced error. Here we go. I can get this page, log into Tops, select payment method, add items to cart. I can't go any further. I still have my original continue with the wax wallet where I attempted to log in uh, that is scrolling. Okay. Hello, welcome to the Dream. Twitter spaces. Are you having any uh, luck buying yeah. baseball cards on your end? Well, I'm just throwing up to see what's going on here. <laughs> All right, man. Well, we're just trying to get some baseball cards going here. Uh, we are not having any luck. Um, white screen from Kumara in the chat. Uh, I've got continue with cloud wallet is my best opportunity. Otherwise, they're all white screens. At one point, I was attempting to log in. Uh, Tops and Wax seems to have failed. Looks like we're going to have to wait for Don Russ, right? <laughs> Don Russ. Now we're getting some old references, dude. You know what I liked was I liked a score. Uh, recently, when I went through my baseball card phase Love again. Score. I went back and I bought all those because I had some early score and I traded them all for other cards. And I always felt bad. I was like, man, I had the first ones of those, you know? And, uh, no, uh, I bought all the score for like 20 bucks for a full pack, a full set. That was amazing. All the, all the baseball cards from the eighties and the nineties that I was interested in collected anyway, are all, uh, completely available. <laughs> you just buy complete sets for like 30 bucks a box on eBay everywhere you want. A uh, guy in the chat says, oh, peachy. That's a classic. Um, I agree. So, uh, beers to everyone in the chat. Thanks to everyone who tried to buy MLB Tops cards. Give us a thumbs up. Peter says, delayed by 30 minutes. Oh, man, I don't want to talk for 30 minutes. Oh, what are they going to do? I'm already on your, your links and everything, Tops old boys. Um, I agree with uh, Ragarer N in the chat. He says, good game. Uh, we all tried to buy baseball cards today. Uh, it doesn't seem like anyone succeeded. Uh, Chris says that Top Shot got more valuable. Top's NFT collection one is on the front page. Did you miss out? <laughs> That's kind of rude, Tops. I think everyone missed out. <laughs> we sat here live and uh, with good intentions and ready money and tried to log in and buy your baseball cards, but all we got was this loading screen. 
Dan, what do you think? Major company like this failing, not having enough servers. Um, seems That's, it, pretty I mean, ignorant, it, yeah? hap it happens to Coinbase all the time. I'm, I'm not shocked at all. Like, especially for a company like Tops. I mean, they're really not. I, I they were probably also surprised at the the level of demand um, because I mean they have to be sitting in the boardroom going, wait, do we, do we not have to print things anymore? <laughs> can can we just take a picture and put it up as an NFT and put our logo on it, and then we can sell like millions of these things? They're they're probably startled at at how much cheaper it got for them to produce baseball cards. And you'd think I thought that when this came out, like tops would be a bad play on the stock market or something like that. Um, but it's actually a good play because they have a whole second round of this and they have all the contracts and things that can make this legal. Well, they have all the content the and, and the reputation because honestly it's, it's like all the NFT stuff comes down to is scarcity, right? If, you have to be able to guarantee scarcity. And the way you do it with someone like Beeble, for example, is you have his pinky promise that he's not just going to generate another copy of his NFT to give away. Um, and I think you can kind of trust that. I mean, he's got a multi, multi million dollar business at this point, kind of dependent upon scarcity. Um, and the same with tops. Like, okay, the, yes. They could, they could kick out another million copies of some rare or super rare or epic level card. And there's nothing to stop them from doing that other than the fact that people are going to be like, well, if you're just going to take, you know, I just paid $10,000 for something that was uber ultra insanely rare and you just made another 10,000 copies of it, screw you tops, and you'd end up losing a customer. Now. I don't know if that's enough to, to, to get them to prevent them from essentially printing money, which is what this is. Um, we do have an update from the Tops Twitter account. Ooh. At Tops Digital says, due to high demand on the site, packs for the Tops MLB Series 1 NFT collection will go on sale at 1.30 p.m. Stay tuned for more updates. So set a timer for 22 minutes. They got to turn a bunch of servers on. Yeah, they've got to call up some guys and do some things. Okay, 22 minutes and counting. All right, 22 minutes and counting. Everyone in the chat, stick with us. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the World Crypto Network. And if you'd like to join us in the live audio chat, just log in to Twitter at Mad Bitcoins. We are on Twitter Spaces. Anyone can join us. Anyone in the chat that would like to join us and talk about NFTs and baseball cards, uh, raise your hand. Uh, did you collect baseball cards? Did you collect comic books? Tell us about it in the chat. What's your favorite collection? And it looks like we all have another shot at these baseball cards. So if you haven't bought Wax yet, if you haven't checked out AtomicAssets.io, Atomic Hub, uh, it's pretty cool. You can buy trading cards. I've got some Garbage Pail Kids. I think they're cool. You know, they cost a dollar. They're worth a dollar. And um, yeah, man, check it out. Check out Wax. It's a fun day. Uh, to try out something new sorry dan go ahead oh so i was just saying i think to me it's about scarcity and if you know the the thing about bitcoin and obviously other cryptocurrencies is the the scarcity is is programmed into it um and the thing about nfts is that that's that's really not the case um and i was talking with somebody the other day and they said look if well, if you had the, the Mona Lisa and the poster of the Mona Lisa are two vastly different things and worth vastly different amounts. And I said, that's true. But what if you have the Mona Lisa and a, a, a molecule by molecule exact duplicate of the Mona Lisa? And the only difference is that there's a number on the back that's different. Are those two things, should they have a different value? And I, I really struggle with that. At the same time, I also struggle with paying thousands of dollars for any kind of trading card, right? That, what, that Pokemon card just went for a, a lot of money? 
and and that's mind boggling too. So I don't know. I mean, at some point, maybe you just you just realize that you don't know everything, and maybe these NFT things are valuable. I know that when you started talking about the fact that uh, you had those first NFTs, my first thought was, "Ooh, I want to get one of those." So <laughs> maybe I don't know. Maybe it's a community thing. Who knows? And there's still clean leases available. Number eight, a picture of the Mona Lisa. One of the first NFTs ever made on Curio Cards is the Mona Lisa 8. Uh, let's welcome Christopher to the chat. Christopher, say hello. Uh, what did you collect? Welcome to the show. Hey, what's going on? I collect uh, pretty much anything I can learn about. Uh, <laughs> if that's art or like old video game stuff, um, cameras, electronics. I'm I'm just a general uh, generalized order. <laughs> do you like to put things on shelves? Do you do alphabetical order? How do you keep things together? Oh, oh I'm 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 a complete mess because I've been just trying to juggle so many different things. Um, and kind of like Gary Vee's, like you got to do 15 things because five of them aren't going to work. And I just feel like I'm I'm always I'm just jumping from one thing to the next. I don't. I'm buying a shed here in a couple of weeks and. Uh, I'm, I just resell mostly, but. Well, the only thing that I've ever collected that had any value was Bitcoin. And I didn't collect, I didn't collect enough of them and it was very well, hard well, to get them. So, <laughs> well, I, I knew about it in 2010 and, and I begged my mother who was just getting into stocks to buy some and she didn't. And now, you know, <laughs> uh, I messed around in 2017 and uh, kind of got burned when it crashed. So. I've just been kind of on the fence and now I'm, I'm my maximalist tendencies have come back and uh, I just, I have a lot of goals that I want to achieve with, with, no, I'm getting kind of, I mean, like cat's got my tongue. I want to take a second. That's all right, man. It's been a, a long time in Bitcoin, some crazy ups and downs and nobody I know played it right. Nobody um, made it perfectly, but hopefully you just got a little bit more than you had before. And uh, maybe today we can use that to buy some collectibles. Uh, just update for people listening on audio only. Uh, we do also have a video version at World Crypto Network on YouTube. Uh, currently, we're looking at a white screen of TopsMLB.com as uh, several nerd friends of mine probably run around in the background saying, get us more servers. Can we get Cloudflare? Can we get some more servers? What about another database server? Jimmy, did you get that database server online? Uh, because Tops was supposed to have this sale at 10 o'clock about 12 minutes ago. They failed. It doesn't seem like they sold any of the cards. And in a, I don't know if it's fair or not, but they're going to reset the clock and do the sale again in 30 minutes, actually about 18 minutes at 10.30 a.m. So we are sticking in for this live stream. Thanks to everybody for joining us in the Twitter Spaces chat. Uh, we're talking about collectibles. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, Carbon, hey. you're up here. Uh, what What do you collect, man? Hey, how you doing, everybody? I'm, uh, I'm not going to be talking too much because I'm on sidewalk in booth and work, but um, I do just want to say that collecting NFTs isn't really my, my deal. Um, I can't see excitement in utilizing NFTs to get out of a crypto position to kind of hold your wealth in, let's say, a crypto version of gold, for example, or an NFT version of a gold bar, and then flip reversing that back into crypto when you can get when you can get a better position. This is my thoughts. Hey, Carbon, I've got, I've got a question for you then. Um, like, if if something you if something that you're really into, right? Something that's a hobby for you. Uh, or a an artist or a photographer that you really like or something like that came out with an NFT. Um, and who knows, right? There's a way to display it. You can put it on your Alexa show and, and have it show your NFT and you can see it and you can look at it. And it's super fun. And it's 20 bucks. I, I got an answer. Yeah, go ahead. So I, I've, I've been a photographer. Uh, my mic. There we go. I've been a photographer for quite a while, and uh, I've been 
complete and just generally like getting better and better at what I do. And uh, money's been kind of an issue because I haven't been able to buy a nice camera yet, but I'm gonna here in the next couple of weeks. Um, probably next week I'm gonna get like a medium tier camera, like a medium frame camera. Um, I, I do marketing stuff like that too. I'm trying to at least. Um, but I made four NFTs myself that are my photos that I edited that honestly, like I know for a fact, I would never mint another one of those, but how, how would I protect myself against, you know, well, I guess I wouldn't, if somebody else minted one, it would be obvious. It's not from me because my account's verified. I finally got verified and that's awesome. Um, but so, so you get to the, you know, that's, that's the question of the value I, then, right? I, I, that? And, and that's what I'm saying. I have yeah. more value. Let me spit that out real quick. Um, I, I'm, I plan on providing like a giant print for whoever buys it. That's simple. That's, you know, basic. But what I'm going to do with like half the money I get from this, if not more, is start my social charity idea. It's, it's really complicated, but, or it's actually really not complicated. It's super simple. Anybody with a phone who gets money from someone else can be like, hey, look, thanks, Bob. This is your $100. I'm going to give it to this guy who needs it. I might just make that an idea simple and and just try to you know, like i feel like crypto is such a we're, we're a more positive space we're a more charitable space and i feel like that would be a way to get a lot of eyes on either nfts in general or just crypto in general is making a really simple for the people charity and ultimately that's the value that comes with buying my nfts is like i'm going to go do something with that money and then snowball that into something bigger and then once I become, you know, famous, then my NFTs that you bought, they're currently kind of overpriced. But in my opinion, they're the first time I'm selling them. So they're accurately priced for me. I like the idea of uh, using this technology to contribute to, uh, you know, charitable causes and social good. Um, that was really how I got my start in, in Bitcoin. Um, I sort of early on got involved with, these you know giving organizations i was uh sort of drawn down the path of change tip which was an early uh bitcoin service where you could tip small amounts to other people it was um you know really designed for micro payments kind of a proof of concept more than anything else but it, it worked on social media and i used that to actually generate um money that could be used for uh you know simple things like coffee and food for people suffering from homelessness and Yes, other, exactly. You know, entrepreneurs in, in other countries who are looking to re rebuild their economies. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah. so I love the idea of that. I, I don't quite understand how NFTs uh, play into it yet. And that's sort of where I'm at. I, I, I haven't purchased any. I, I haven't really taken a, a, a deep enough look into it only because I'm, I'm incredibly skeptical of, of the whole landscape. Um, anything that sort of looks to ride uh, on top of the success of, of uh, you know, not just Bitcoin, but, but other uh, competing, if you will, currencies uh, for under the guise that it, it's really meant to provide income streams for artists. When, when to me, it really just feels like it's, um, you know, ripe for a lot of, uh, a lot of scam. One of the really neat things about NFTs is that it solves a lot of the problems of the collectible space. Uh, we used to talk about them back in the day as digital collectibles or blockchain collectibles. And if you think about a baseball card, like I can look at it and I can look at the rarity and the value and if it has torn edges and if it's, you know, I can assume that it's the card. But if you have an NFT, it actually is provably the thing. Like by math, it is the string of letters and numbers that represents the basically a digital receipt for that baseball card or a digital receipt for that photo or a digital receipt for a painting or sculpture or anything. And but, but you're, that, are that, you talking that, about it as a physical good, like a receipt for a physical item? I, I'm talking about that. The main thing that it proves is that it is the thing. Like it solves these big problems in, in rarity where you're like, yeah, th is that a diamond? Right. And you look at it really close and you use a magnifying glass and you're like, yes, that's a diamond. What's amazing about these NFTs is they are actually the thing. Oh, we're getting a report from the chat that the MLB page is now loading again. We're going to give that a shot. Um, but that that solves a lot of problems for collectibles. And again, the, the value I see in these are, again, collectibles. Collectibles are worth what you can get somebody to pay for them. 
There's been many collectible fads such as pet rocks, uh, baseball cards, comic books, all these kind of things. Uh, do they have value? It is Again, it's all about who will pay you for it. Uh, it seems like they're crashing the baseball card website today. Uh, so it seems very uh, difficult that I'll even get any baseball cards at all. Uh, they're saying the site's online. I'm not getting it. But um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, it's mainly about that. It's about that provably rare. But as far as the other things, I, I don't see it linking for value for owning the thing or legal value. All that is is tacked on. It's possible for like a digital thing that anybody I else that's off Doge is up everything. <laughs> Doge is doing better than everything else. Uh, it's again, it's uh, one of those things that happens. And I'm it's just like mad a, I didn't keep it. Yeah, oh, I wish I had some too. It's like an irrational exuberance, though. It's not, it's not a real thing. So I, I hope that people will take some profits in the Doge. Um, but uh, yeah, if if anyone has any any expectations that this is going to continue forever. I, I would look to the fact that there are, have been so many pump and dump teams uh, in the last decade in this space. Um, and, and, you know, I would caution anyone who's getting in at this point. Uh, you're, you're probably not going to make a lot of money and you're probably going to end up getting uh, wrecked in the process. All right. We do have a countdown timer hey, back. Hey, man, the, your, your mic's not working anymore. Mine's? Oh, man. What am I going to do? Can anyone hear me? I can hear you fine. I can hear you on spaces. Okay, you can hear me on spaces, but not on the other thing? I'm not on the other one. I can see it going through the other thing. Chat, can you hear me? Anyway, we're eight minutes away. We may be having technical difficulties. If you want to buy baseball cards on the Wax blockchain, uh, this is your last chance. Um, can you guys hear the other people? Okay, well, um, if, if Chris, if you're having a problem, try disconnecting and reconnecting. Uh, remember, Twitter Spaces is a base; it's a beta software, so uh, it might disconnect uh, one of the people in the chat. Uh, you might have to restart the Twitter app uh, to get that to work. Uh, you also might want to try getting the newest, newest and latest version of the Twitter app. Uh, looks like we're joined by Coin Laughs. Looks like he's got a garbage pail looking kid at his icon. Maybe he's into the garbage pails as well. Uh, we're seven minutes and 50 seconds away from the tops launch, not guaranteeing anything. Uh, I do have enough wax in my account to go after the hundred dollar pack. I do think this is excessive. If you don't have a hundred dollars, I kind of got drawn into this. I was going to spend five bucks and now I'm like, eh, what's a hundred bucks, right? Uh, so we're going to try to buy a hundred dollar pack and open it live. After that, at the same time, we're going to try to buy a five dollar pack and open that live. And then that's about it. We're going to run for the hills. Um, guys, so in the it's chat, really funny that you, you mentioned garbage pail kids. That was the one type of card I actually collected as a kid. Uh, I was not Same. into baseball cards. Um, I used to love those things, and I'm very sad that they're all gone. Uh, I'm sure there'd be some, some value in those today. It would be nice to still have the garbage pail kids. I think garbage pail kids are like the thing that I couldn't buy. It was like Irish Pale Kids were too naughty for me or something. I was a young kid. I was protected, you know. Um, they do it a lot now, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, they were they were the underground, you know, dirty baseball cards that would make your mind go wrong or something. So, uh, of course, when I got on Wax, I was supposed to learn how to make uh, NFTs and practice and stuff. Uh, instead, I immediately started buying uh, Garbage Pale Kids. I was like, these are so cool. I'll get a handful, you know. Uh, six minutes, 30 seconds. Everyone in the chat, are you excited? Do you think we're going to get it this time? Tell me in the YouTube chat uh, if you think we're going to get baseball cards. Like, maybe is what I'm going to say. Oh, let's ask the eight ball. I have this special magic eight ball that can predict the price of Bitcoin. Uh, but for you guys, I will ask it today. Will I be able to purchase Tops baseball card NFTs today? I'm shaking the ball. Very tense. It is certain. It is certain the ball has spoken. I'm incredibly positive. Five minutes out. They're saying you have to pay with card. I'm not sure. Sure, I have wax. I'm ready to pay in wax. Um, I'm logged into a wax wallet, which to me makes me think that Tops has bothered to build an interface for this. And also, I don't think that Tops wants your credit card money because you could cancel it on them. I think they want that sweet, sweet blockchain money 
that can't be canceled so that later on when we feel bad because we bought, um, you know, nothing with a hundred dollars, we bought digital collectibles. Um, then we can't cancel our credit cards and, and get mad at tops. Uh, so that's why I would take wax or Bitcoin or, or whatever. So we are five minutes out. Uh, they say only credit card. Uh, so I'm going to run into some kind of wall cause I don't have my wallet. Uh, you guys in the chat talk for a minute. I'm going to go get my wallet in case I need my credit card. If I need my credit card, I'm going to pull this thing off the screen. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to have a card next to me. Good call. BRB. I've never heard of the wax blockchain before, but I would be a little skeptical if they're not allowing any sort of crypto uh, purchasing. That, that to me, is a little concerning. Yeah, that was an immediate red flag. Wax, wax is a pretty old blockchain, actually. It, it, it came around with like engine coin and stuff like that. It's been around for a while. I don't know how, how secure it is, but. I have no idea. It's funny because I've been in this space for a long time and I even worked for a year at a crypto exchange and that token never came up. I, I've never actually seen it cross my radar. Yeah, I kind of, I, I was made aware of it when I was, I was dabbling in uh, shit coins and <laughs> was, I was thinking, you know, like gaming, gaming would be big. So things like engine and wax and stuff like that came in onto yeah, my you know, radar. Engine. And then there was another gaming token called Hunter Coin um, some years back, but I don't know whatever became of that one. Oh, I hadn't heard of that one. There are so many uh, d different blockchains that I think it's actually, you know, it's, it's just causing so much confusion for people to even do the research to understand what it is that you're, you're buying into. Like you're buying a token. What does it represent? It, you know, is it, are you buying part of a company? No. Are you no. buying anything right. that has value? It's pure speculation. And, uh, you know, that's part of the reason why I, I've been, you know, making it a goal of mine to um, eliminate as many of, of these uh, altcoins from my life as I can. Because unless well, you're going to be up late every night checking charts and doing research and trading, you just don't know what you have. You don't know what the value is. Yeah, Christopher. I didn't mean to. to no, uh, no, you. you're good. Um, I I do a lot of due diligence, and uh, I look for stuff that's that's really that has like it, utility in the sense that it'll actually be used to pay somebody later, or maybe prove something. Like I feel like it, it needs to have immediate utility, or it it is actually complete shitcoin. You know. So um, you know, you make a good point because I think it's it, time preference is the thing, right? Like. A, a buddy of mine, he super wants one of these top shots. And uh, <clears throat> he's, he's definitely FOMOing for a top shot. He's trying to get it, trying to get it. And he's like, well, you know, I think it'll be, I think it'll be valuable. And I said, well, what's your time preference? Like, valuable when? You got to know your time. You got to know your time. Because if you're talking about, like, I mean, I know that for my baseball, my baseball cards and my comic books are the things I've collected over the years. And I've, I've kept since I was a kid. And if, if you think that we, we are two minutes book, out, we are two, two minutes, minutes out. out. And uh, I think another part of it is that right now, what you're paying for is excitement. Right now, I have all the excitement of going to a baseball card shop, going to a comic book store, seeing what I'm going to get. You know, I got 20 bucks in my pocket. I'm going to get a handful of comic books. I'm going to get a couple of baseball cards. Probably I had $5 then, you know, but a uh, minute 30. I don't know if we're going to win this, but I think... The way to get value out of this is not to see it as about money. Like right now, I mean, $105 is, you know, Agreed. it's a good amount of, of breakfast and lunch, no doubt. Like it's food, food money. But, um, you know, I don't really, I can live losing $105. So, but you're not going to retire on your NFTs? Not, well, not on these baseball cards. <laughs> I think people in the chat think they're going to, but, and that's probably why there's so much excitement here is because they have a different kind of excitement. But I think going back to, uh, you know, that damn time Dan's right? comment about time preferences is, is, is really, it's an important topic, right? Because FOMO is the opposite of, of you know, low time preference. It's the highest time you preference go. you can have. It's like, I want to get in this now because I want to make a lot of money now. And I see that all the time. You know, I, I, I'm on a text thread with a bunch of old work colleagues, uh, many of them who I, I introduced to Bitcoin uh, years ago when it was uh, so much lower in price. And, uh, you know, a few of them came along for the ride and did quite well. And then some of them have just sort of, sort of started to look at it now. And they're all coming to me saying, 
what's the coin I should buy that's going to get me $100,000 in a month? Like I could even give you Nothing. any kind of recommendation. Exactly. And, and you know, that's the problem is, you know, you had five years or longer to, you know, play this out. And I always said, this is a Sorry, long Dan. play. This is 10, 9, 8, 7, eight, seven 6, 5, six, six, three, five four, three, 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 two, two one. one. Okay. I'm going to click the thing. Two, one. I'm clicking the Uh-oh. thing. Buy premium pack. What's happening? It says log in to continue. It says add items What's to cart. It's got a white screen. Add payment method. Nothing's happening. Anyone in the chat having any luck? I'm Thomas, clicking the did you not screen. log in? I logged in, man. I'm <laughs> logged in on the thing. Um, looks like a big fail here. Log in to continue says one of my windows. Uh, Wax wallet uh, says it's loading, but I don't see anything. Um, looks like we're at another fail here. Uh, every Every IPO ever. <laughs> Yeah, this is just the same old thing. Uh, let's copy this link. Let's try an incognito window. Um, let's try some options here. But um, pretty much the same. We're seeing this white uh, select payment method screen. Uh, we were presuming that you could pay by wax, the coin that's used on atomic assets. Uh, everyone else manages to do this, Tops. Uh, what's wrong with you guys? Here we go. I'm getting a login. We're getting a possible like, thing uh, here. Buying healthcare in 2014. We're kind of back why to the did, wax. Why did they just not release screen. it on OpenSea or something? The guy says I clicked it too late. It expired. Let's try a refresh. Maybe other people are getting these. No, it's gone now. Um, uh, looking like a big fail Nobody for me. Nobody predicted. Yeah, looking like it's not. Uh, clicked it too late. It expired. I'm loading the shop.wndny page.io. Here's what I found. What did you find? Let's see. Visit our partners, Tops. Um, doesn't seem like Tops is having any luck selling baseball cards to me today. Um, someone in the chat says that they can't check out. Other one says it's down again. Uh, so we're looking like a second total fail here for tops. Uh, I mean, maybe don't do it again in an hour, like wait a week, guys. Um, this is not working for anybody. Uh, we are live on Twitter. I think and this Twitter. Is a, you know, Sorry, Dan, go ahead. <laughs> it's what happens when any legacy company tries to capitalize on something like this. They don't know what they're doing. They don't prepare. Are we, are we having technical difficulties again, or is everybody just quiet? Uh, well, Tops is broken, but it sounds like Twitter Spaces might be broken as well. I can hear you. I can hear you just fine. Yep. Yeah, we've, we've had another stream break. Maybe Christopher broke off. Sorry, Christopher. Just quickly about this gold thing I've got running around in my head, gold and the NFT. If you were to, for example, able if you were to be if you were to be able to buy a let's say hundred gram gold bar that's been certified, has been bolted, like let's say with Voltoro, Thomas. Um and they were to give you an NFT in exchange that that gave you the rights to that gold bar, would that not be a fantastic way to store your wealth digitally? Again, there's whenever you make whenever you make this connection between the physical world and the digital thing, it becomes false. Like because that's not what like what Bitcoin's about. That's not what digital things are about. What's great about these digital baseball cards is that I'm not buying them to get access to any physical thing that's all wishy washy, right? A physical thing, like let's say I have the golden ticket that lets me into every concert for the year, right? In the computer world, that's a one and a zero. You are a one, you're not a zero, you are in the concert every single time. The, the key always fits the lock. In the real world, there's all kinds of reasons not to give you the physical thing. So whenever it's like an NFT for land or an NFT for gold or even an NFT for a real life baseball card, the connection's not really there. Uh, the connection for these digital things is there. So it sounds like uh, baseball cards are terrible and tops is terrible. People are saying in the chat that the scammers have already bought them all and they're selling them for $1,000 instead of $100 on Atomic Hub and that's 200 to 400 wax for a standard pack. And it um, seems like Tops has just screwed all the normal people and there's no winning here. Uh, this has all the wrong feelings, Top. These were infinite things. 
you could have made uh, billions of these and bought billions of servers and it doesn't seem like you did. So this is a big fail for tops. And you can buy these promo packs. Here's my thing with it. Now the premium packs a thousand dollars now. The five dollar packs a hundred dollars now. Yeah, this is just a terrible ripoff. I don't think this has any good feelings for anybody. Oh well. Um, I don't know. It looks like we missed the sale, even though we were there. Uh, there was no joy in Mudville. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. All right. So I didn't get any baseball cards is what it's looking like to me. I'm going to keep my money can't believe they put a pop-up on a poetry page. All right, guys, uh, hold on just a second. Let's see. Is there a... Hey, everyone. Let's see. Nope. All right, here we go. The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville 9 that day. The score stood 2-4 to four with but one inning more to play. And then when Cooney died at first and Barrows did the same, a pall-like silence fell upon the patrons of the game. A straggling few got up to go in deep despair. The rest clung to the hope which springs eternal in the human breast. They thought, if only could Casey could get a whack at that, we'd put up even money now with Casey at the bat. But Flynn preceded Casey, also did Jimmy Blake, and the former was a hoodoo, while the latter was a cake. So upon that stricken multitude grim melancholy sat, for there seemed but little chance of Casey getting to the bad. But Flynn let drive a single to the wonderment of all, and Blake the much despised tore the cover off the ball, and when the dust had lifted and the men saw what had occurred, there was Jimmy safe at second, and Flynn a hug and third. Then from five thousand throats, more than there rose a lusty yell. It rumbled through the valley. It rattled in the dell. It pounded on the mountain and recoiled upon the flat. For Casey, the mighty Casey, was advancing to the bat. There was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride in Casey's bearing, and a smile lit Casey's face. And when responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat. No stranger in the crowd could doubt. T'was Casey at the bat. Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Five thousand tongues applauded when he wiped them on his shirt. Then, while the writhing pitcher ground the ball into his hip, defiance flashed in Casey's eye. A sneer curled Casey's lip. And now the leather-covered spear came hurtling through the air, and Casey stood a-watching it in haughty grandeur there. Close by the sturdy batsman, the ball unheeded sped. That ain't my style, said Casey. Strike one, the umpire said. From the benches, black with people, there went up a muffled roar, like the beating of the storm waves of a stern and distant shore. Kill him! Kill the umpire! Someone shouted in the stand, and it's likely they had killed him, had not Casey raised his hand. With a smile of Christian charity, great Casey's visions shone. He stilled the rising tumult. He bade the game go on. He signaled to the pitcher, and once more the dun spear flew. But Casey still ignored it, and the umpire said, Strike two. Fraud, cried the maddened thousands, and Echo answered, Fraud. But one scornful look from Casey, and the audience was awed. They saw his face grow stern and cold. They saw his muscles strain, and they knew that Casey wouldn't let that ball go by again. The sneer is gone from Casey's lip. His teeth are clenched in hate. 
He pounds with cruel violence his bat upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball, and now he lets it go. And now the air is shattered by the force of Casey's blow. Oh, somewhere in this favored land the sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light. And somewhere men are laughing, and somewhere children shout. But there is no joy in Mudville. Mighty Casey has struck out. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. I don't really have any good voice to talk today. Uh, we tried to get some Major League Baseball card NFTs, and we failed. Uh, boo tops. Uh, yay, baseball cards. Yay, NFT. Thanks to everybody for joining us in Twitter spaces. Uh, normally, I'd keep this going, but really, I just don't have any voice left. Uh, so I'm going to bug out. Um, I mean, if you guys want to keep chatting, you can, but I think that uh, that was kind of a good note to end on. Uh, do you guys want to say anything before we go? Uh, Carbon and Dan still with us? Go drink some tea with lemon. Tea with lemon. Good call. And uh, everyone, I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. It's a special celebratory Tuesday for some people, um, but not for getting baseball cards. So uh, boo on tops. Have a better system next time. Uh, good luck to everybody in the chat and the audience. I hope you got some. And I hope you had a fun time learning about NFTs and baseball cards and collectibles. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, there's a mailing list on Twitter. And uh, thanks so much for joining us. Until next time, bye-bye. Uh -huh.